guys, welcome back to another video of Bass Bullies TV. Today, we, it is like, I think it's like May 28th, 29th. Basically, it's basically June. Yeah, it's May 28th. It's basically June. There are batting fish in a local lake near me that I'm going to try to catch today. There was a tournament yesterday that I fished and we, we, we actually won it. And this lake, it's not known for big fish, it's just known for a lot of fish. And there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of 12 to 14 inch fish in this lake. And the big fish are in a three to four, maybe even five pound range. So there's not very many big fish in this, a lot of small fish in this lake, just fish in general. Now this lake is, uh, it's, it's big for musky and striper not so much bass fishing yet but grass is coming in this lake it's coming in pretty heavy and it's helped the bass out a lot in the past three years so that's what's going on here in east tennessee we got lakes on the tennessee river that where they are stacking up offshore already and people are catching them in 20 foot of water and you got a lake that's just literally just one lake above one of the tennessee river lakes that they're still that they're, that they're spawning on there's still females pulling up in practically June in the in summer so that just amazes me and that's how I mean that's I, people don't understand the diversity of lakes here in East Tennessee we got lakes that are super clear and super deep like 20 foot water clarity and you know the average depth on that lake is probably over 90 feet to be honest with you and then you got shallow grass lakes, like the one I'll be fishing today, that's also clear. And then you got all the Tennessee River lakes, which are stained, and some of them have grass, like Chickamauga, Watts Bar has a little bit of grass, and uh, you got lakes that don't have it, like Port Loudon and Teleco. And it's just, the diversity of lakes here in East Tennessee are amazing. But I'm gonna stop jabbering on, I gotta get me some food, I'm starving. And uh, I actually, starting this video late in the, uh, it's not really late, it's just late in the day to be fishing because we've actually been having thunderstorms. So I hope the thunderstorms that came through last night and the early part of this morning do not uh, mess with the water clarity. Water clarity is pretty good, it's about four to five foot on this lake. Yesterday it was. So uh, we'll figure it out. If we can't catch any bed fishing, we're just going to be fishing. So but I'm going to stop jabbering. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the water. Water's a little bit more dingy than what I wanted. Uh, we had some storms come through last night, but that'll be okay. Just looking for beds. Troll motor's turned down. Now let's hit the bank and start looking. We don't got good clarity. We got about two foot water clarity. Actually about a foot, foot and a half water clarity. So, this is going to be kind of hard. I think I see a bed. I saw a bass. I know it was a bass. Okay. That bass is very skittish. She ran off on me. So, we're just going to keep on coming through here. There's a bed right here. There's two of them on it. See them roll. I'm trying to back up. This is when I need power poles. Okay, I abandoned the whole uh, bed fishing thing. I saw about three, four beds, but every time I pitch into one, that spook off. Uh, I saw about two, two pounders, two and a half pounders, you know, that's about how big they were. And I saw one that was close to three. We're just gonna go fish some banks now. The sun's up. 
it piss poured rain for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. But now, it's getting hot, and sunny and everything. I had to put sunscreen on. My skin was burning. That's crazy that they're, 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 those fish are on bed. And it being the end of May, which the water temperature is 60, the high 60s. So, I mean, I believe that was the last wave of them. But it's still crazy to see that many beds, you know, in just one little creek arm. There's a bite. Little guy. And when I was saying there's a bunch of little fish in this lake, I wasn't lying. That fish is probably seven inches. Still fun to catch. It's always fun to catch. I actually got one bite on a shaky head on the other point across the lake over there. But, you know, I'm not quite on the point just yet, but he bit it once and he started running with it. And usually when they run with it, there's another fish there or more fish. I got like three more hours. Until I need to be off the water. Until it's about dark. But uh, I'm actually gonna get out of here before it gets dark. Here's one running with it. Feels like a little better one. Man, I can see that fish about six foot down. I, mean, I kind of like clear water, but yet again, I don't at the same time. This fish is a little bit better. He's about, he might be close to 13 inches, 12 inches. But. You know, Dinker City. Dinker City. So that's two fish in a row I've hooked right into the top of the head. If you guys can see this or not. But right on the top. guys I've been out here for three hours now gotten four bites and caught two of them I don't know what's going on with them yesterday we was catching 40 fish a day we caught every bit of 30 to 40 fish yesterday Little one. <laughs> Dinker fest. That fish is dark. It's a pretty fish right there. Oh, he kind of blinded one eye. And he might be blinding another eye. It kind of hit his eye. It's a very pretty fish. Not catching size, but I'm catching them somewhat. That's a better one, I think. Oh, oh yeah, that's definitely a keeper here. Here we go. That's the best fish of the day. <laughs> it's sad to say. That's a good fish for this lake. It's a nice healthy keeper. About a pound and a half, pound and three quarter. Okay guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Um, caught a few fish, nothing too great. Um, the bed fish, every time, I found like four beds. And every time I flip into one, 
the fish that would get spooked off, they'd run away and I'd never be able to see them. Uh, so, bed fishing I gave up on after I tried the four beds and every time I'd flip into them they'd run off, so, and plus it started raining. That's why uh, it all it all changed on me there for a little bit. So I decided to start hitting some banks, some deeper banks, and uh, I started catching a few fish. Nothing too great. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this this lake does not have very many big fish. A three pound fish is a very good fish in this lake, and I wound up catching one definite keeper. You know, a couple of decent little fish. You know, pound pound and a quarter. I hate saying decent little fish when they're just that that small, but it's a decent fish for this lake. But that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, check out all my social media links down below. My Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, check out my apparel shop if you want. Uh, check out my partners. Link is also in the description. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. And until next time, catch them big.